and welcome to the last part in the series about my Cinderella Renaissance dress. I'm still finishing things up, I have to do the sleeves, I have to make accessories, and a few other small things, but I found the perfect shoes at Goodwill for $9. I'm really excited. We're almost there. Stay tuned for the very end to see the reveal of the full look, and I hope you enjoy watching. All right, I've got my sleeves cut out. They're lined with a, a thin cotton. I cut one of them upside down, but shh, don't tell anybody. Um, I'm going to finish off the edges with bias cut out of some scraps from the blue taffeta. And then we'll work on the, the, the puff, the puff thing. Yeah. After finishing the edges of the lower sleeve, I stitched the top half together. The bottom portion of my sleeves will tie closed with ribbons, so there is no use in stitching that part yet. Alright, I have cut out... Just one of my oversleeve because I want to test this out on one side before doing both of them because I want to know if, oh my gosh, my oversleeve is almost as large as my sleeve is. It's bigger, my goodness. Uh, so I want to know if this is a little too monstrous before I get too far. The first step on the oversleeve puff was to put the gathering threads along the top and bottom edges and also one right through the middle. I'm basing my sleeve design mostly on this portrait with a double puff. I then gathered the puffs down to the size of the undersleeve and pinned them in place to see how it was looking. Okay, so here is the sleeve just kind of loosely pinned together. It's not quite as voluminous as I was hoping for, so I might try Stuffing a little padding or something in there just to get it a little bigger. I can't believe how much smaller this looks when I looked at the pattern. I thought it'd be huge. So we'll see. Okay, I tried adding some stuffing into the sleeve and it just doesn't look right to me. So I think I'm going to try redrafting my pattern a little bit. I'm going to make it uh, wider so it has more fullness around the arm and I'm gonna see if that makes me happier. So this is the new sleeve pattern in comparison with the undersleeve just to get a idea of how much bigger it is than it originally was. All right, this is sleeve version two. We're looking much poofier, much happier with that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. The new sleeves are much more gathered when I pull them down to size. Yay! I was careful to pin the bottom edge of each puff along the line I had faintly marked earlier to make sure my sleeves would be nice and even on each side. I ended up hand sewing all of the puffs since it was going to be nearly impossible to get this under the machine. I used small stitches with a lot of back stitches to make sure they were quite secure, and added fiberfill stuffing in each puff before stitching them down.
I finished the sleeve caps with a simple bias strip, which I just barely managed to do by machine. The things I do for puffed sleeves. I sewed jump rings to the points on my sleeves that needed lacing, and after my eyelet debacle with the bodice, I wasn't trying that again. And I jazzed up my lacing ribbons with small metal beads at the ends as well. Since the sleeves look nearly identical, I embroidered an L and R into each to keep from getting them mixed up. So it would certainly appear I have, uh, created some monsters. <laughs> They're so big! <laughs> I love them. Okay, so today I'm starting off on some of my jewelry. Got this fun cross pendant, lots of beads, just gonna string me up a necklace. I also made some quick earrings with some earring hoops and beads I had in my stash. Next up is my hair piece. I started with a paper mock-up roughly the shape I wanted it to be and tried it on for size. I'm fairly certain this isn't a real historical style, but it's cute and I like it, so I made one. I traced this paper shape onto a foam wig head once I was happy with it and used that outline to pin ribbon into my cap shape. I hand tacked each intersection of ribbon using a small pearl on each lattice point to hide my stitching. I'm really happy with how this is looking, but holy cow! Is this taking a long time and I feel like I've barely started. <laughs> I wanted to add some little dangly bits to jazz this thing up a bit. I made a long thread chain with silver thread and added small metal beads here and there as I went to add a little more detail. I did two of these on each side of the cap. And finally, it's done! I feel a little like Arwen in this with the dangly beads, and I'm really into it. I'm pretty pleased with how this dress came out, even if I ran into a lot of problems along the way. I am so excited to be entering into this year's Foundations Revealed contest. So if you haven't checked it out yet, and the voting's still up, please go check it out, vote for your favorites, check out everybody's amazing work, it's gonna be really great. And uh, without further ado, here is the full final look of my Italian Renaissance Cinderella.